What's going on guys? So today we're gonna learn how to make a buff out of your old running race shirts. All right guys, before I go on with this review, my name is Jeremy, the Goku Runner. I make a lot of running videos about races. I do running tech reviews. I do running tips. So I talk about all things running. If you guys like that kind of stuff, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now. So buffs are super useful. You know, right now we're using them as face masks, but before that we were using them as, you know, ultra marathon gear. Buffs are really multi-purpose tools. They could be used to, you know, cover your hand. They could be used as a bandana. I actually have a video on like 12 different ways on how to tie a buff around your head. So you can go ahead and check out that video right here. Today, we're gonna learn how to make a buff out of your old racing shirts. And this is gonna be a Chuck Norris shirt that I got. And if it's a sublimated shirt, it's gonna be even better because you won't have to deal with paint on the shirt, which is gonna make it harder to breathe through. A sublimated shirt like this one is gonna be easier to breathe through. So that's what we're gonna use today. So the other tools you're gonna need is gonna be a scissors and you're also gonna need a sewing machine. I have a sewing machine right here. I did upgrade to a nicer sewing machine. So we'll be using this one, but you will be needing a sewing machine. So if you have one, go ahead and pull that out and get that ready all right so first off what we're gonna do is lay the shirt out so if we lay the shirt out and we're going to pick the area where we want to make the buff so buffs are super easy to make basically it's gonna be only one stitch and you do want to have a little bit of stretch so first thing we're gonna do is measure it out so this is about 15 inches so let's just go ahead and say 16 inches by 10 inches so I'm gonna make it 16 by 10. So that's what we're gonna measure out on the shirt. So the easiest way to do that is to measure it out, is pick the area that you want. So I kinda want this Chuck Norris here on the shirt. So we'll go ahead and put this Chuck Norris in the design. So we'll go from the side and we'll do 16 by 10. So right here, right here if we measure it, we'll measure 16. So we'll go from the top part over here 16, mark it with uh, some chalk, and then 16 down here. Right there, so you can see that. And then we'll go 10 inches, 10, 10 inches wide. So for this one, we're gonna go ahead and do two seams. You could do one seam if you pick it from the, from the edge, but we're gonna go ahead and do two seams right there. 16 by 10. And then up here also. So we'll do 10 inches. All right. So now what you wanna do is cut it. And I do have this little rotary tool right here. It makes things easier to cut with. I would suggest if you're gonna do a lot of sewing to buy one of these. So first we wanna do is make a mark to connect those edges that we had over here. So here, we'll put the chalk mark so we make a straight line. So we'll make it right here, there, so we can see everything. There, that looks good. Now I can see it, I'll put this board underneath and then we will start cutting. So the reason why I started tailoring is because I am a bigger dude and if you don't tailor your stuff, things will not fit right. It won't look good on your body. So definitely if you are a bigger guy, learn to tailor so you could get things to fit just right. So here we go. Let's go ahead and let's put the board up a little higher. Let's go ahead and cut this first piece. This is really sharp. So you just have to follow. So you just have to follow the ruler all the way down. Let's go, let's go up and then cut it down again. See how easy that is to cut? There you go. So that's cut. All right, so let's go ahead and cut the score out. I'm gonna fast forward this part a little bit. There you go. Not the greatest cuts, but it's okay. It's just a buff. All right, so, all right, so basically that's all you have to do. All right, so basically that's all you have to do. You have to do the, the, those cuts. That's gonna be the hardest part is to make these cuts. So once you get your square over here, see you have the square, you want to flip them inside out. So you want the ugly part on the outside because we're gonna sew these two together. See, so right here, and then put this part inside there. So you want the good looking parts touching together, like that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is pull out our sewing machine. 
So let's go ahead and pull out the sewing machine right here. This is basically the easiest part right here. We are just going to get the thread. So I do have to fix it up a little bit. So turn that on and then thread the needle. Knowing how to thread your sewing machine is kind of difficult if you don't see a tutorial. So there's a lot of great tutorials on YouTube that you can check out. That's how I learned. So make sure to check out those. Well, so right now what you want to do is connect the edges. So we have one edge here and one edge here. So what we're gonna do is sew a straight line just right down either side. So you could pin them together or you could just freehand it like what I'm gonna do. And that's what I'm gonna do because a buff doesn't have to be the nicest thing to look at, it just has to work. So what we're gonna do is start off by sewing. Then I'm gonna use a zigzag. You could use a zigzag or you could use whatever one you like. I'm gonna use a zigzag just to make sure it goes. So what we're gonna do is just sew right down either side. So put it in there, lock your pedal down, and then start sewing. And do a back, go back a little bit, and then go straight. So there we go. Have the first edge down. It doesn't have to look very pretty. You can tell this one does not look all that pretty, but we will fix it up. There we go. And then we just have to do the other side. So do the same thing on the other side. All right, so there we go. So that's basically it. So basically we are, we are pretty much done. So on one side I did a zigzag stitch and the other side I did the straight stitch. If you do have a cheaper sewing machine like I, I had before, you definitely do the straight stitch. But like here, that's basically it. You will have some edges over here, but it's not gonna be horrible. So we'll take the sewing machine down. And what I like to do, because you know, whenever you do have, whenever you do have a buff, the edges are not finished. So since my ends aren't even, you can see it's not even at the end. One of the pieces ended up being longer than the other. I'm just gonna even that out right now with the ruler. So I'm going to cut it out with the ruler right here. Cut it right here, make it nice and even so that it looks a lot better. All right. So there's one side, just cut that off. And then we'll do the same on the other side because you can see it's longer over here than the other side. So we'll, we're just gonna even that out to make it look more pro. All right, let's even that out. All right, wasn't the best, best cut. And all you have to do now is flip it inside out. There you go. There's the buff. It says Chuck Norris on one side. You have a nice looking buff. And then you could stretch it out a little bit. If it's not wide enough, just stretch it out. And then that's all you have to do. And now you have a buff. Use it as a face mask, you use it as a buff, you use it as a headband, whatever you want to do. That's basically it. So yeah, basically that's the buff right there. Pretty simple process to make. And it's something that you can use out of old race shirts that you're not using. And these are really useful during a race, especially ultra marathons. You can use them for anything and everything that you can think of. It's almost like the duct tape of ultra marathons. So that's how you make a buff. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a pretty easy process. You don't have to be the best sewer, as you can see right here. I did use a zigzag stitch over here. Didn't turn out that great, but it will hold. And then you also have a 
straight stitch over here. And if you wanted to put a zigzag stitch at the end of these just to finish it off, you definitely could. But for me, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and wear it just the way it is. So now I have another buff to wear right here that I made. It is my Chuck Norris buff that I made out of a shirt that I don't use anymore. So here we go, got the buff. And that's gonna be the tutorial. All right guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.